Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. Tonight we're going to take a look at uh, another board game. This was me and my fiance's um, third board game. We got this one after Killer Bunnies. And um, without further ado, um, I'm going to talk about a game called Sitting Duck Gallery. So, what we're going to do, uh, let's take a look at the components. This is the components for Sitting Duck Gallery. You can get a really easy to read rule book. So it's one, two, three, about three, four pages. Not many, but it's really clarified, really easy. Um, get one board, game board. You get six targets. You get a duck deck comprised of 41 cards, ranging from the different color cards in the game, the color ducks, to some blank ones. So there's six of each duck, and um, you get um, a deck of 54 action cards. You get some things from a uh, shoot card, disorderly conduct, take aim, bump right, duck and cover, line forward, hang back. Let's take how to talk about setup and how to play the game. Okay, now for setup, everyone's going to take their ducks. They're going to place one of them in front of them. So the blue player is going to put one in front of him. Purple in front of them, and the yellow in front of the yellow player, just like so. You can use, if you really wanted to, you could probably use all the ducks, it doesn't really matter. Then you take all the open water cards, and you shuffle the duck deck as best as you can. Um, I'm probably going to do a really crappy job, but it doesn't really matter. Then you shuffle the player uh, action card deck, and you're going to deal three cards to each player. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, stuck there. So then you deal the duck line out. You're starting with the front row, and if you just Wow, this is not looking good for yellow duck. And an open water. Now, duck duck goes right there. So, the one that's the closest to the line gets to go first. So, obviously, yellow, yellow is going to be going first. Now, you have to play a card. Every turn, even if you don't want to. So, well, this player is going to do it, play a take aim card. So I'm just going to put it on one of his ducks. And he's going to draw. Even if it's not in the best of interest, you have to play that card. Then you draw the card and you make sure you have three cards. Then the next person and uh, to that next to that player goes next. So. Now he could. Now the other player could then shoot any two adjacent targeted um, ducks. Remove any ducks that have been shot. So, or you could shoot, play the shoot card, and shoot the yellow duck player. Well, since, you know, his, his duck isn't in the line of fire, he's going to shoot the yellow duck. Yellow duck is then placed in front of the player. He draws a duck. This moves forward. You draw a replacement duck. 
or whatever it is. And then the last player goes. Sits. And you remove the shot target. Now he can, the only one he can do legally right now is take aim. So he's going to take aim. And he's not going to pick anything because he doesn't want to, you know, doesn't, you don't want to gang up on one player and you don't want to, um, do it. so you adjust the duck deck if there's anything else. Oh, the yeah, um, yellow player's still in front, so the yellow duck's going to say move ahead. So his duck's going to go here. I'm just put it off to the side for now. And then you move these ducks all there. And now the open water is still targeted. And you got another open water. Gameplay continues until you eliminate all the other ducks. And, and even if you're out of the game, you can still play cards. You just you just can't win the game. Bump the target to the right. Only if it's legal. So this would move this one over there, and you target instead of green being target, uh, purple you targeted. Duck and cover. So you place your duck between any adjacent duck. It could be your own color even, but so. And then you adjust the line as such. So this would basically move like this, like this. And you play another duck. Okay, and so what are my final thoughts about the uh, Sling Duck Gallery? I think this is a really great game. Um, it's good for families. It's good for when you have friends over. It's a good break the um, the long haul game that you just got done playing, and you want something just light and fluffy. It's a really good game. Um, another good thing I like about the game is it forces you to play a card from your hand regardless if you want to or not. So this can give situations where someone previously played a move forward card. Your card is now subject to be targeted and it's your turn. Only thing you have in your card are shoot cards. So you're forced to shoot your target. Even if it is yourself. The cards are very humorous. Um, it's really simple to pick up and play. And it's the right amount of players, from three to six, three to six players. So um, it's a pretty good um, group size. Um, it's I, I found that it's like um, uh, every every person that I showed it to finds the game a lot of fun because you're always laughing when uh, your um, the intended target doesn't get shot or you know you're sitting here they're they're trying so hard to put targets on your duck and your duck just happens to get lucky and avoids getting shot and it's really even amusing when you start putting the um the bump the bump the targets it kind of reminds me of that um Bugs Bunny and uh, Daffy Duck where uh they're like shoot him not him I think this is a really good game to you know to get out um for people that are new to board games that's also a good game to get out um after a long game and you just you just want to wind down with something that's quick and easy uh it's really good um, so, yeah, and overall, it's a really great game. I think you should check it out. And it's a lot of fun. It reminds me of Duck Hunt and uh, the carnival uh, thing where you shoot the little ducks at the carnival. So, for those aspects, and uh, this game's a must buy. I, re I recommend it to anyone that uh, is looking for a whimsical or funny board game or even that a kind of a party type game to add to your collection. It's, I would definitely recommend this one.